but I don't think I've ever seen hail that big and that fierce since we've lived here. But it wasn't just the hail that caused damage to the Catawba Island community. High winds and lightning also caused trees in the area to drop branches, cutting off power to some 1,800 customers and falling on structures. Behind me is a motel room at the Beach Cliff Lodge. This tree next to it was apparently struck by lightning during the violent storm. The good news Nobody was in the motel room and nobody was hurt at the time. The bad news is there are more storms in the forecast, so there's no telling when that good luck could run out. Longtime area residents are used to the harsh storms coming across Lake Erie and onto the island. We've had them before here. Uh, uh, when it comes across the lake, um, uh, we're blocked back from the water there and uh, we take the brunt of it along the shoreline there. Now that the storm has passed, the cleanup effort begins. And with the 4th of July celebration just days away, maintenance crews will need everyone's help in the community to clean up the island. We've got a pretty good program going on as far as cleanup goes, so everybody pitches in and helps each other out, cleans up what they got to clean up and gets it to us, and we'll pick it up and remove it. Although there are more storms in the forecast, some island residents believe their little piece of paradise will be back to normal in no time. Everybody will be out gathering their twigs and branches today, and it'll be fine by tomorrow. On Catawba Island, I'm Joe Galley with WNWO News.